Prince William attended the funeral of Diana's brother-in-law Lord Robert Fellows alongside Prince Harry, but reports suggest they did not speak. Kensington Palace has announced that Prince William will go on a solo engagement on September 10 following his reunion with Prince Harry. The Prince of Wales will head to Lanelli, South Wales, to visit a school, spend some time at Wales Air Ambulance Headquarters, and enjoy some sport. He will first go to Swiss Valley Community Primary School to meet pupils who are taking part in a literature festival, URDD Eistedfod. William will then go to Wales Air Ambulance to meet staff and crew at the charity, of which he is a patron. The future king will also visit Park Y Scarlets, the home of the Scarlets rugby union team, to recognize the contribution of Wales' female players. There to meet William will be the current Wales female international team who have recently qualified for the 2025 World Cup. In late August, William was reunited with his brother Harry as the brothers both attended the funeral of their mother's brother-in-law Lord Robert Fellows. The event was held at St. Mary's Church in Snedisham, Norfolk. A church warden, who wished to remain unnamed, told the BBC. It was wonderful that both princes were able to attend their uncle's memorial service yesterday at St. Mary's Church. The service was a lovely family occasion celebrating the life of such a special man. Many friends were also present and also many members of the St. Mary's Church family. Reports suggest that William and Harry kept their distance during the service, and apparently did not speak to each other. The Duke of Sussex still has a tense relationship with the rest of his family after his dramatic exit from the royal family in 2020. Harry visited his father King Charles in February and in May this year. Reports in recent weeks have claimed that Harry could be considering a return to living in the UK or even a return to the royal family. But well-placed sources have now claimed he has no such plans, telling the BBC that the Sussexes are still concerned over their family's security in the UK.